You are still a wolf, my friend, written by Ewan Black and illustrated by Badris Soleh. All wolves everywhere, whether black, grey or white, all wolves wait for the moon, then they howl into the night. To be a wolf in the pack is to hear your voice sing, to have a strong howl is a very important thing. But once there was a wolf pup, and how he could not. Try harder, the wolves would say, but he had already tried a lot. He was as strong as an ox, and smarter than an owl. There was just this one problem, our young wolf could not howl. When the moon rose at night, he was left out of the gang. He'd stay quiet all night while the other wolves sang. When the pup tried to howl, the other wolves would laugh. You're not a whole wolf, they said. You are not even half. So one night, under the stars, when wolves sing and play, as the pack began to howl, our quiet pup ran away. With the light of the moon, he trotted through the snow. He was on his own now. He had nowhere else to go. Crows squawked down at him. The trees would squeak and growl. And our pup wolf began to fear. He was no longer alone. Hello there, young wolf, a grisly voice had said. He looked up and saw a bear on a branch above his head. This bear was gigantic, with eyes as cold as ice, with claws as sharp as his. This bear could not be nice. I barely heard you there. Are you on your own? A wolf without their pack should not be out alone. No matter, come with me. Before you start to tire, get yourself nice and warm and hear the crackle of my fire. There is something you should know, said the wolf to the bear. I've tried, but I can't howl. Do you think you will care? My pack didn't like it, so I decided to run away. But this fire is nice and warm, and I'd really like to stay. Hmm, said the bear. No howl, is that right? Well... Let me tell you something, as we share a fire this night. You see, the thing about me, I'll explain. Let me try. I'm a big scary bear, you see. But I've never hurt a fly. Other bears called me names, so I ran away too. But I found something amazing. We are not alone, me and you. I met a golden eagle who preferred to swim than soar and a fierce baby door mouse with the world's loudest roar. You'd never believe this. It will make you go pale. I met an African cheetah who was slower than a snail. I met a robin redbreast whose belly was fully blue and a shiny dung beetle that really hated poo. I met a very brave chicken and an elephant that could jump, a very clean pig and a camel with no hump. 
and now with no hoot, and a cow with no moo, a dog with no wolf, and a quackless duck too. And I am a soft bear, and proud to be nice, so listen to me now and hear my advice. Here is what it means. When it comes to the end, even with no how, you're still a wolf, my friend. Those animals are my pack, and you can meet them too. One thing I can promise, they will never laugh at you. With the bear and his friends, the pup soon understood to be a wolf with no how was something that was good. Press the button below to subscribe, like and share. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.